Hi friends, in this tutorial we'll see how exceptions are handled using Spring Boot application. For this I'll take reference of my website javainews.com. So go to Spring, Spring Boot section. The example that we are going to implement is Spring Boot exception handling. I'll be sharing this URL along with a YouTube video. Spring provides a very useful way to handle exceptions using controller advice. We'll be implementing a controller advice class which will handle all exceptions thrown by the controller class. So what is a controller advice class? Uh, we annotate uh, the controller advice class with the annotation controller advice. It has various methods which are annotated with uh, exception handler annotation and uh, using these annotations we define uh, each method to handle a particular uh, or multiple exceptions. For example, a resource not found exception will be handled by the method annotated with this exception handler resource not found dot exception dot class uh, method. Similarly, all other exceptions will be handled by this method which will be annotated with exception handler exception class because it is catching the parent exception exception class. So all the exceptions that are thrown by the controller classes, it will be caught and handled uh, by the controller advice class and then a suitable response for these exceptions uh, will be sent back to the user. Uh, so we don't have to write individual controller advice classes for each controller but a single controller advice class uh, is written to handle all the exceptions thrown by the controller classes. So this is the overview of uh, the project that we are going to implement now. We'll be having a controller class which will be exposing some uh, rest endpoints. Uh, similarly we'll be having the service where we usually write all the logic and we'll be having the exception handler controller advice class which will be annotated with the annotation uh, controller advice. So in the happy path scenario what will happen is the user calls the uh, method get employee uh, and uh, the employees uh, list is written back to the user. Now what happens if any exception occurs? Suppose exception occurs at the employee service level then this exception it will get propagated to the employee controller level and an exception will then be thrown by the controller class. Now this exception uh, whenever is thrown by the controller class since we are writing the controller advice it will not be written the exception it will not be returned back to the user directly but it will first go to the exception handler controller advice class where it will be handled and a suitable response will then be sent back to the user. So all the exceptions that are thrown by this controller class it will first be handled by the exception handler controller advice class and then it will send an appropriate response to the user. The major advantage of using controller advice class is that uh, we'll be having a centralized or a global uh, way of handling exceptions that uh, occur in a Spring Boot application. Depending upon the type of exception thrown uh, we'll be returning a more appropriate response as well as a more appropriate uh, status code back to the user. So it would be more helpful in analyzing what the defect is without sending the stack trace and other information back to the user. For example, consider the scenario that uh, the user using the get employee wants information about a particular employee. But since we are not having that information, we might send empty response back to the user. But uh, this should not be the case. So using exception uh, handler controller advice in such scenario, what we do is we return the status code as 404 that and a resource not found exception. Uh, so let us begin implementation part now. So this is a project that we are going to implement. Uh, first we'll implement the model class, then the service classes, then the controller classes and finally the exception handling code that is the controller advice class. So go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Go to file new Maven project. Select create a simple project. Give the group ID as com.javainews. Artifact ID I'll give as spring boot exception. Next we'll be adding the Maven dependency. So since this is a web project, the only dependency that we'll be requiring will be the Spring Boot Starter Web dependency. So copy these dependencies. Next we'll be creating the bootstrap class that will be annotated with the uh, Spring Boot application uh, annotation. So this will be required to start the Spring Boot uh, application. 
so let's create this class first Next, we'll be defining the model class employee, which will be returning as response. So let's create this class. We now define the classes in the service package. So in the service package, we will be having two classes. One will be the employee service exception class and the other will be the employee service class. So the employee service exception class, it will be thrown by the employee service class in case of any exception. So let's create this exception class. Next, we'll be defining the employee service class. So the employee service class, it has three methods because we have to just uh, test three scenarios for this uh, exception handling use case. One will be the get employee class. So this will return the employee object correctly. The next, it will return uh, null as the response since we'll not be finding any employee suppose. And the third, it will be throwing an exception. So we'll see what uh, how exception is handled in uh, these when a null is returned as well as when an exception occurs. So let's create this class. Next we'll be defining the classes in the controller package. So the first pack, uh, class will be the resource not found exception class. So this will be thrown uh, by the controller class when uh, the null response is written by the service. That is uh, the employee cannot be found for a particular uh, use case. So let's create this class. Next we'll be uh, defining the controller class. So the controller class, it will be having three methods. Uh, one will uh, return an employee object. So it will be the happy path. The other two request mappings, one will return a null employee. So uh, in this case, we'll be throwing a resource not found exception. And the, in the other case, uh, we'll be having where the service itself uh, will be returning an exception. So uh, in this case, uh, an ex employee uh, service exception will be thrown by the controller class. So let's create this class. We'll be uh, naming the new class as employee controller. Next, we'll be defining the POJO class. So uh, we'll be using this POJO class to send the response uh, back to the user using the controller advice class. So this POJO, it will be having uh, two variables. One will be the error message that we are going to send and the other is the requested URI that is uh, for which URI uh, this exception was returned, whether it was employee or employee one or slash employee two. So let's create this class. Finally, we'll be creating the controller advice class. So this controller advice class, it will be named as exception handler controller advice. 
it will catch the exceptions thrown by the controller method and uh, a more appropriate response will be sent to the caller uh, for example if an exception occurs we don't want the caller to get the entire stack trace involving technical details also we return a more appropriate response status depending on the business logic so here we are going to define uh, two uh, exception handler methods so the first one it will be resource not found exception class so suppose uh, as explained before that uh, the employee for which the caller is looking for it is not found then the resource not found exception class will be thrown and also the response status it will be http uh, status uh, dot not found that is 404 it will be returned to the user along with this we'll be sending uh, the message and the uh, caller uh, uri uh, back to the user the other uh, exception handler method that we have defined it is for the parent exception class exception dot class so all are the uh, all other exceptions other than the resource not found exception class it will be handled by this method here we are returning the response status as uh, internal server error that is uh, response status will be 500 so let's create this class Next we are done with all the changes so let's start the application and test it. Run this as a Java application. So our application has started successfully. Next we'll be testing the three endpoints that we have exposed using the employee controller. So the first will be the uh, with the URL slash employee. So this will be the happy path implementation and employee is returned as the response. So the service method will get called and the employee response will get called successfully. So let's first test this one. We'll be testing this using Postman. So hit this URL. So here we can see that we are getting the response correctly. Next we'll be testing the other endpoint. So it will be slash employee2. So it will call the method of the service class get employee null which will be returning a null value. So we'll be throwing a resource not found exception. So once we throw this resource not found exception since we are using the uh, controller advice class so this class this method will get called that is exception handler resource not uh, found exception class uh, and here uh, we will be returning this response back to the user that is the exception response uh, pojo class that we defined and also the status code as we had said before it will be 404 so let's test this scenario So here we can see that uh, we are we are getting the resp uh, the response as employee not found and the requested URI slash employee two and also the status code here is four not four not found. Next we'll be testing the third endpoint that is with the URL slash employee three. So here uh, the exception will be thrown by the employee service class. Uh, this uh, exception it will get propagated to the controller class and the same it will be thrown. Uh, so once the employee service exception is thrown by the uh, controller class uh, it will come here in the uh, exception handler exception class since uh, we are having only two methods here first uh, one for resource not found and the other for exception so it will come here and then uh, we'll be sending appropriate response back to the user with internal server error as the status code again if we have some specific implementation for the service exception class we can create one more exception handler class with the, with the service exception class and then that particular response will be returned to the user. So, so here we can see that internal server exception while getting exception uh, uh, requested URI slash employee 3 and we are getting internal server error. So our application it is working properly. The source code for this it can be downloaded from here. Hope you have understood this tutorial. Thank you.